Hey, how's it going? My name is Daryl. Welcome back to this AWS machine learning series. In the last two lessons, we just learned how to create an AWS Lambda functions to help us to invoke the endpoint and serve our customers. And in these lessons, what we are going to do is to create is to extend the functionalities of the existing Lambda functions that will allow us to trigger the the SNS service and that will help us to send an email notifications to our customers. But before we dive in into the details, let's learn a bit about this Amazon's SNS service. Amazon SNS service is a fully managed um, messaging service for both applications to applications and also applications to person communication. So by using the Amazon SNS topics, that will allow the publishers to send out a message to the subscribers. And in our example, we are using this A to P, that is applications to persons communications functionality that will allow us to send a message to the users uh, via the email. So in our cases, we will use Lambda functions to help, help us to push the result from the SageMaker to this SNS service. And then based on these topics, uh, this SNS will help us to send out the emails to the subscribers. There are two key steps involved. Uh, firstly, we will set up the SNS service. Um, these, uh, um, we need to identify the topics and also we need to identify the subscribers. Once we have um, the topic SNS topics, we will then jump back to the Lambda functions um, to extend the functionality. Now, um, based on the SNS topics, we will push the result. And these results, we'll send it back to these SNS service. And once these SNS service receive the result, it will then share it back to the subscribers. So, First thing first, we will jump to this uh, AWS management console and then start the, uh, the SNS service. That is simply notification service. Just, just click on it. And here you can see the dashboard and it also tells you that the two different communications approach um, what we're going to do, what we're going to use is the applications to persons. So we will push the contents uh, via this SS, SNS service. And then this SNS service will uh, send the emails to the subscribers. Of course, everything will be based on the topics. So the first things that we need to do is to set up the topics. So for example, we can create a topic here. There are two topic types, and I will just choose the standard one. And for the name, we we have a stock price predictions topics. Uh, but for this one, I just um, just use the my topics as an example. And then now we can create this topic. And under these topics, we can create our subscriber to create the subscriptions. The protocol, we can send the SMS, the emails, and HTTP or so and so. And we will just pick email over here. And what we need to do is to is to provide an email address that will that will allow us to receive these notifications. Now we can create the subscriptions. So the subscriptions um, to these topics has been successfully created. On the client side, they need they will receive a subscriptions confirmations. And what you need to do, I mean, from the client side, what they need to do is to confirm these subscriptions. So just click on the confirm subscriptions. And now you can see the clients have successfully subscribed the service. Now let's bring it back to this SNS. And let's go back to the topics. This is my topic. 
here we here we have a an ARN. This is the topic ARN that we need to provide in the lambda push function. So if we go back to my functions, we just create the SNS service. So now we are ready to create the push functions um, in this um, ex in this existing lambda. And the first things that we need to do is to create an email, say client is use the photo free to um, initiate the SNS service. So we will assign an email clients over here to help us to push the result. We publish the result to the um, SNS. And of course, that will base it on the topics. So just like what I mentioned, the first thing that we need to provide is the topic. And this is the topic. And this is the response. Say SNS. Other than these arguments, there are a few more arguments that we can provide. And say, for example, you can provide the phone numbers, the message, the subject, and so and so. What we're going to provide is the message and also the subject. So So the next things that we would like to provide is the message. So for example, that is the predictions is um, equals to is prediction is equals to these results, and we will just um, convert it into a string. So just make sure this is a string. And then, uh, of course, we need to provide an email subject and say, for example, this is a EMC finance. So that is a daily predictions. So with just a few lines of crooks, we can easily set it up. But before we can push publish these topics to the SNS service, we need to give uh, full access to it. So we'll go back to the IAM and click on the rows. And our Lambda function is called my function. Just click on it. And here we just add the, attach the policy. And the policy is called SNS full access and we will attach these policy so now we have two full access policies attached to uh, attached to these lambda functions the first is the SageMaker's full access because we would like to invoke the endpoints and the second is the full access to the sns because we would like to send out publish the contents and send out an emails to our client. So now we have two policies, policies attached to these Lambda functions. I just found that there's a typo over here. That should be an echo sign. And now if I deploy the model, okay, everything has been successfully updated. And now if I go to the test, I can just um, provide this JSON input and put it over here and let's do the test. Excellent. Um, it has been successfully done. Now, if I go back to the code, you can see the execution results. This is the response. 
and then if I go to my email, here we go, and it just sent me an email and show me the result. Excellent. So we just extend the functionality of our existing Lambda functions to allow us to send the result in an email via the SNS service to our clients. So in the next lessons, what we are going to do is to build, deploy, and also test an API gateway that will allow us to communicate with our customers with the use of API. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.